Dr. Amanda with Straight Smile Solutions, straightsmilesolutions.com, and today we're going to talk about what photos I think you need for your removable appliance or fixed appliance um, check-ins. Um, and this is what I do with my clients all the time. This is what I ask them for when they're doing an expander patient um, or any type of functional appliance patient, a sagittal, a bionator, a twin block, a frankel, um, anything like that. This is what I ask from my doctors. And I apologize, this is not all from one patient because I didn't have a release on one specific patient that was good. So I've kind of got a hodgepodge of photos here, but you get the idea. So what I ask my doctors for, if it's a removable appliance, is your normal sequence of five photos. Boom, boom, boom. Five intraoral photos. Remember, you can buy really cheap plastic retractors from eBay or Amazon in bulk. It comes out to like 20, 25 cents each just give your patient one when they go home because there's no reason that you need to have all i mean initially when you first get started with your appliances for interceptive you should have them come in the office because you're going to learn a lot you know just getting them to fit and stuff like that but once you get through that first visit so i normally let me take a step back i normally do frequencies um, with my clients a little slower than an orthodontist would do their frequencies so um, it's going to depend on if they're skeletally mature or not um, but I do two turns a week or one turn a week, depending on where they are in puberty. Usually two, if they're pre or during it, um, one if they're post. Um, and I might do different frequencies. Like on the top arch, I might do two turns a week. On the bottom arch, I might do one turn a week. Everyone's different and we might change it up. So that's what I recommend. As an orthodontist, when I was had my own practice, I was doing one turn a day and having the patient come in, you know, every week or so. But the and i have videos specifically if you want to know anything about any of these appliances turn frequency where frequency lab slips how to deliver how to turn i literally have dozens if not oh, more than that videos on all every single thing that's out there every single appliance you can think of how to do it how to deliver it how to turn it how to fit it um just go into my youtube channel which is straight smile solutions not your youtube in general but my youtube general straight smile solutions put it in the search bar then scroll down the playlist on the homepage and you'll see one just for interceptive and everything has its own video and I'm constantly adding to it. If there's anything you think I forgot, just let me know and I'll make the video just like I'm doing today. But um, in any case, the question is what photos do you need? So I normally have my doctors turn in a set of inner oral photos, whether they took them in office or whether the patient's checking in from home. They send those to me through secure mail, which is a HIPAA compliant email, or we do it in a HIPAA compliant screen share session um, to go over. I usually have them see their patients every three to four weeks. Um, you know, it will take a few months to finish the turns, but that's the best way to get started. Slow, easy, no risk, no pain, anything like that. Um, slowly the teeth will start to adapt and improve on their own. As you get more experience, you can speed it up. You can increase the frequency to every other day. Some orthodontists even do every day. Um, that's better for fix, not so great for removable. But um, there's also more risk and more crazy things can happen. And I've seen some crazy, crazy, crazy things happen, not in my patients, but in other people's patients, damage control. So I'd rather you don't do that. But anyways, a set of intraorals, um, hopefully you're sending them home with retractors. If not, they can use spoons or chopsticks to retract. Um, if you're in office, of course, you hopefully are taking nice pictures. Um, also a set of picks top and bottom, or just top if it's a top only appliance with the appliance in, obviously probably not the key in there, but I like to count the screw threads. So hopefully it's a slightly better picture than this, but it, I can see a lot by how it fits. It also tells me if it's rocking, if it's fitting, if it's seated. Um, there's a lot of things that we can see. And lastly, one picture of the appliance tabletop, just straight down perpendicular to the um, appliance. Uh, just so we can see the screw threads as well, make sure nothing's bent, distorted, anything like that. So this is what we ask for. So if it was an upper and lower appliance, we want to have a total of eight pictures. If it's just an upper, we're going to have a total of seven pictures. But this is what we want to see at each check-in, be it virtual or in person. And they can tell us so many things about how things are going. Hopefully this was helpful. Thanks so much.